Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Hey, today we're going to look at another spider. That's right, it's spider time. Now this is a garden spider. Depending on where you live, this might have a different name. Some people call it a pumpkin spider, but I think officially it's called, well, there's some Latin name, which I could not even attempt to pronounce, but I think generally its official name is European garden spider. Well, it also lives in North America. It doesn't just live in Europe. Now, one of the distinctive things about this spider, and I mean, there are many, there is the bulbous, pumpkin-shaped, get it, pumpkin spider, pumpkin-shaped body, but there is that cross on its back. The markings, the white dots, kind of look like a cross. Additionally, when you see it hanging from a spider web across the garden path, and it gets in your face, and it's, oh, you know, when the, oh, I hate those spiders do that, right? It does not appear to be a hairy spider, just like the black widow spiders we have looked at under a microscope. When you put them under a microscope, you can see these are some hairy sons of it. Well, you can get the point here. These spiders actually are hairy, as I think most bugs are, if you look at them close enough. Because most bugs do have those tiny hairs on their legs or feet for gripping, but this has these tiny white hairs all over its body. But without magnification, You'd say, oh, this is one of those smooth skin bodies. It's not hairy. Well, no. Spiders are hairy. Yeah, so we have learned that with our KK Moon video microscope. Now, I guess you could try this without a video microscope and look through a magnifying glass, but then the sunlight would hit it and catch a spider on fire. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying you're not going to get a good look at it because it's going to be burned to a crispy critter. Now, with that said, a spider like this is much more beneficial well, as far as I'm concerned, than a black widow spider. A spider like this probably isn't going to kill you. Well, I, d I have to say probably because all spiders have venom. Remember, it's not poison. Not poisonous spiders. They're venomous. All spiders have venom. It's only a few spiders which has venom strong enough to injure a dog, a cat, a human, a mouse, or, you know, something along those lines, a mammal or, you know, a real animal. And whenever I say, you know, a real animal, not a bug, spider lovers just freak out. Spiders are real animals. No, they're bugs. Just get over it. But let's get back to this video. All spiders have venom. Most spiders, most bugs, even though they have venom, it's it'd be nothing to us. You might get a little rash or a little bump, like, you know, mosquito bite little thing, little spider bite markings, but that's it. But that's for most people because... Anybody at any time can develop an allergy, a spider allergy, a peanut allergy, a, I don't know, a, an allergy to cookies, potato chips, I don't know. But if you get an allergy and have an allergic reaction to the venom of the spider, well then it could be dangerous. And really the likelihood of that is very small, but just as a general rule of thumb, don't try to get bit by spiders or try not to get bit by spiders. Even beneficial, cute, cuddly little garden spiders. Yeah, I was say cuddly little spiders. Yeah, Ugh. cuddly little cute, cute. Yeah. Okay. So even spiders like this don't try to get bit. I don't be poking in his mouth. But you can see how hairy it is under magnification. Not to change the subject, but this is a hairy spider. And when it wants to be, it can be fast, as you can see as we're trying to chase it around the dish. You know, with our microscope here. So, have you ever seen a garden spider up this close? Now, you might have seen it almost this close. When you walked across that eye-level web and got the spider right in your face, but have you ever really seen one under magnification? And that's what we're looking at here. Creepy spider, scary spider, like all spiders, but harmless, beneficial, kills bugs, kills mosquitoes. Sometimes might even stop people from walking in a yard because, uh, you know, get a face full of spider web. So, yeah, I mean, they got that going for them, right? All right, so what do you think? Uh, creepy spider, non-creepy spider. I'm going to call this one creepy, even though it is harmless. But, hey, that's just me. You'll have to tell me your opinion down in the comment section of the video. And, hey, as always, thanks for watching. Beanmeister 22 the most dangerous man on YouTube.